cheapskates out there, like myself. I'm going to modify an injector. These are a 280cc EJ25D injector. I got dozens of these things laying around. Uh, I figure what the hell. And since I'm going to Deutschworks tomorrow to have my yellow top side feeds flow tested and cleaned, I figure I'd send a set of these too to see what they actually flow out to be. And maybe I even use them in the future for E85 or something. Uh, doesn't take long. Here we go. First, I'm going to remove the cap. Okay, I already took the screws out. Take the cap off. I take the little rubber grommet out of there. I know some of, some of you guys lose these things and need them. I, I got piles of them. <laughs> I break the injector loose a little. And then I pretty much just take a, something solid underneath. My big trusty screwdriver. It's actually a little tougher than the rest of them. Then I get it out of there. Clean some of the scrapings off. Alright, first thing I do is pinch this little O-ring. Break it off. It goes in the garbage. Plate works will give you new ones. The Pintle Cat. I don't really know about these things yet, but I haven't found a good way to get them off. This is the plastic one. I have other injectors laying around. I have the aluminum cone shaped one. I just ripped that off too. Shake some of the extra gas. This gas stinks. This, this manifold must have been sitting around a while. Shake some of that gas out of there. thin metal cap that goes over the end of this and it's welded on just around the four little holes in the center of the cap. That's what you're trying to get off. Once I grind it down thin enough I use the tip of a razor blade and I just pull out what's left in the center. Die, you're going to be able to see that. But it just leaves the nozzle tip in there. And a little bit of the cap left around that ring. That's what's left. Of that. That's pretty much it. And then I just take a piece of 500 grit and smooth it out a little and get it look a little better. I'll take my compressed air and blow it all out. You don't really need to since you're, well, since I'm sending them to get cleaned. All right, let's go. Let's clean the tip out a little bit. There you have it. See so if you can see this. Uh, if I touch that. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Just take my word for it. There's a tiny little nozzle in the middle there. And uh, that's it. I got four of them here done. Took me about an hour. And the first 20 minutes of that was a learning experience. I'll let you know how they flow.